Hello everyone, I'm Otonic, and I would like to make a series of videos showing you some really cool MIDI playback options for your live rig when you're out on the road. So these are travel options for MIDI syncing all your gear and doing really cool programming changes to make your life on stage that much easier so you can play your beautiful music. So let's jump in the studio and I'll let you check it out. Hello and welcome back to my studio space. I know it's small, but I make the most of it. What we have here is my travel rig. This is for taking out on the road where everything is already connected, nice, safe, and secure, and easy to travel with. So, I'm going to hook up some gear here and explain what I'm doing along the way. So, first thing I do when I get to the gig, I'll look for power and I'll just run my power cable straight over there. These are fairly long so they should reach somewhere off stage if necessary. Those are supplying power to this whole rig and then this one is out. This will supply power to my base amp will sit right underneath my table. Go ahead and hook that up. Okay. So next we have all our whips. Now these are color coded according to the device that they're running and that makes it super easy to connect. Not only for me but if someone's helping. So Inside, I only have to make a couple connections. These are all my synthesizer apps. My synthesizers, not apps. They're devices. So they all plug into the mixer. So I have a mixer, MIDI interface, and then my USB hub station. Then underneath is all the power supplies. So all the connections for each device come through on a whip. So I have my MIDI, my audio, and my power. This makes it extremely, extremely useful. So once those connections are made, slide this on down underneath the table on top of my amp and the links of these are already pretty much right where they need to be to reach each device. Next I will show you how to implement a MIDI program change using Ableton Live and iConnectivity Neo XM. The iConnectivity box allows me to keep my external live looping station, Ableton Live, and synthesizers on the same MIDI clock and also implement programming changes live on the fly. You can use the global MIDI settings to do this. Okay guys, here's the cool part. So, within Ableton, you'll want to create a MIDI clip. And in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see program change. You'll want to send the MIDI out according to which DIN connector is on your iConnectivity Mio box. Send that out to the proper device, figure out which sound you want, and program change it in there. You'll want to set that to a one shot and not a loop. That way it doesn't keep changing your sound back in case you want to change it on the fly. So if we were on this track, we've got that sound, but let's say we want to go to this track. Now we got that sound, so that's super cool, super easy to do, and it's all done through MIDI and allows you to keep flowing with your music more fluidly. So uh, thanks for checking it out. If you have any uh, questions, put those in the comments. Please uh, subscribe to this channel if you're new here. And 
We'll see you next time. Otonic out.